Quick bow! Your bow has no power at all! 100% speed, zero damage! You got roasted! No accuracy at all! 1 foot per second, arrow speed! You have posted cringe! Silence peasants! This video is for you! An important lesson behind the Southern Native American shortbow war archery. The purpose of a weak shortbow and fast shooting in old tribal warfare is the same as the 5.56 round for firearms. It takes out of the game more people. What discourages a soldier or warrior more? A dead comrade? Or an injured friend yelling in agony? The dead are dead, they don't need any more help. They're no longer a priority. But an injured one needs at least two more soldiers to get their body to safety, thus giving the firepower to us. Who makes better hostages for negotiations? The injured one. Tribes in the Americas weren't annihilating one another as a modern mind expects. Tribal warfare is mainly about dominance. Can you cripple the enemy tribe enough to submit to your will or leave the area? Good. Too many kills create even more enemies. Modern archers and hunters do not have the battle mentality. It's all about one clean shot for them. Warfare does not work the same way. It's all about tactics and strategies. Don't overestimate our body. This is not a video game. When I got just a finger deep shrapnel on my thigh, I was out of action instantly and needed at least two weeks to be able and walk properly again. A month to do any action moves. If you don't have your people with you on the battlefield to pull you back, guess who will walk up to you and say hi? Yes, the enemy. Good luck with that. Can you guess why melee weapons were used along with bows? Yep, you get it. Step by step, and victory comes. If you catch my drift. And if you think that such a light bow is not accurate or doesn't do any damage, then let me give you an arrow hug. Come on, don't be a hypocrite. <laughs> These arrows can go way deeper than just one finger. What makes the difference is the arrowhead. A sharp obsidian blade or a broadhead is at least two times worse than a knife stab. Not only that, but I dip my arrows with my nasty rotten recipe that can make even an elephant fall asleep for one last time. These arrows have the same logic as a scorpion's sting or a snake's bite. Even if they barely open a wound on the skin, it is enough to inject the poison. It's important to understand how these arrows injure the enemy. First of all, these are training arrows without a proper blade, but even they can work in an emergency. The impact causes the stabbing motion that goes deeper inside, even if the arrowhead is then pushed back towards the surface. The wound is always bigger than you might expect. The penetrated tip of the arrow tumbles inside the wound and causes a wider injury. In a modern situation, if you're in the military, I don't think that any other bow would make much sense. You already have a fast and accurate ranged weapon with more power than any bow. Archery would only make sense here if it was used for a silent ambush up close like the ones done by these old warriors. You wouldn't want to aggravate armed enemies from a longer distance if you're only an archer. It's not a good strategy. Much heavier bows are slower and won't help you much up close. Weak bows indeed, but can do the job done. They work in their own unique way. That's what my content is all about. It's a shame to see, even if they're the great minority, archers who are too quick to judge badly without any research or intention to understand. Maybe it's this modern mentality of Hey, I spent half a grand on this bow, so it should be the best thing ever! How come this free item works? The only explanation is It doesn't really work, but it works. This style needs skill, not money. Plenty of proof of its effectiveness is seen in so many videos. Those who don't have eyes to see will never see, even if it's in front of them. You lack the military mindset and underestimate what you see. But guess who appreciated what they saw because they understood its value? A short bow in war is used in combination with more items. I'm working on several videos that covers this topic. Yes, of course it's weak compared to other bows. That's the whole point. To make it work, even if you can't afford a better bow or there are not enough materials around you. I don't claim that this is the best archery style. I don't claim that this was the only way it was done. I simply present one small piece that has not been addressed on the internet enough. That's my brand. There are so many others who present all other styles perfectly. 
I'm filling the gaps instead of doing more of the same. Choose what you like for yourself and simply don't take a shit on those who chose this style. And everything is good, bro. <laughs> Final conclusion. No matter what your style, be respectful and don't be an evil fuck. Bye for now. More content will keep coming. These were my points. Stick around if you want to watch some more clips of me training. Cheers. Oh, you're still here? Good. I actually have more info. To make your weak bow work, you need skill as I mentioned earlier. Here is an example. The power strike, as I call it. A normal shot has the power of the bow's draw weight, but if you force your bow forward as you release the arrow, it gets pushed and strikes harder. The speed shooting techniques I keep showing you actually always use this. That's what causes the illusion that I barely draw my bow. I actually achieve a full draw, but way faster and it's not easy to see. Now, some proper speed shooting is meant to be used as part of your tactics. Here is an example. I will shoot and miss twice on purpose, and then I will aim at my target. That will cause the enemy to pointlessly evade my first shots and lose his readiness. For the first two shots, I don't need the full draw, I only need speed. The one shot that I have actual deadly intention gets all of my attention. Poetic. Okay, bye for real now.